to do a quick demonstration of jQuery is um, trunk tutorial service which basically oh that's another thing too um, AppFuse comes with CXF also wired in so with an annotation you can convert all your DAO managers to web services which is really slick so what I did was I took the um, tutorial service which is the person service and then jQueryized it okay so um, now okay let's assume that you've went ahead and you've built your AppFuse project and you have your My Eclipse so in My Eclipse you can see we by doing the build source we get all the source code from AppFuse and we <coughs> just drag it all into our project then um, you know the other part of it of course is you're building a web app so when you create the web app in <coughs> Eclipse you'll get the web root and then you'll just copy all of these parts from the war file into here and then the other thing you're going to have to do is um, AppFuse doesn't come with the JSON plugin so you're going to have to go get the JSON plugin from the struts2218 um, project um, another thing you might be able to actually pre pre build this in with um, when you use Maven you can probably change the POM file and add it to the POM file and have it automatically pull it down um, I also use the Commons validator um, you can just go get that from Apache Commons and um, another thing we're going to do um, later on after we get through some of these jQuery is that we're going to plug AppFuse into an LDAP server for authentication and so that'll because in, in the real world you're probably not going to want an external database doing maintaining accounts so you're going to want to plug this into your company's LDAP server um, so we'll, we'll get to all that but right now we're just going to start off with um, doing some jQueryizing which is the next part of the libraries so you see here what I did was when you get the war file I create um, a folder called Java libs and I have an app fuse um, so here's Java libs and here's my app fuse 210 lib and here's all the libs that I got from the war file and then I added the uh, validator and um, the JSON plugin to it and then I just turned this into an Eclipse um, library user library then um, then once you um, have your AppFuse running, you probably want to build this, deploy it, and test it, and make sure everything's working on your Tomcat server that you can log in. And you know, and if you're using MySQL, this will just work. If you're using Oracle, you'll need to run some of my scripts that migrate the Oracle stuff and create the Oracle tables. Um, keep in mind too that these models have been Oracleized, so like the user model for authentication. Um, I don't know why I always have trouble opening these. Okay, so um, seems like it only happens when I'm running the uh, screen capture <laughs> video. So um, you'll see here that these have been um, Oracleized. There's uh, a sequence in Oracle that's been created to control the keys and the sequence generator. This will be different than what comes out of AppFuse normally. So. Um, you can always, when you initially build it, you know, you'll work with MySQL and then, you know, eventually I'm going to upload this to my website and you'll be able to download this whole project and you'll have it already Oracleized, of course, with all the SQL scripts you'll need to build the Oracle tables and such. And um, so, okay, so now that we have our um, AppFuse base application going, now you have to go get the struts2 plugins for jQuery. So there, if you go to um, Google and just type in struts2 jQuery, um, you'll come, you'll find the site. It's on, it's on um, code Google also. And what you want to do is download the 211 um, set. So you'll, you can, you'll need all the jar files. You can get the sources if you like. And of course the showcases are pretty cool because you can actually see what it does. But they run their showcases on the website so you, can, you don't have to download it and deploy it unless you want to take it apart and see what it looks like. Um, which can come in handy sometimes. <laughs> so um, one thing about the jQuery plugin is um, AppFuse is using struts218.
um, 211 is based on struts 218 so as you move up the chain here you also move up your struts version so unless there's something in here that you really really need which I haven't hit yet but that doesn't necessarily mean you won't need any of these um, upgrades with the jQuery you know newer jQuery stuff usually of course so um, you'll have to also upgrade your struts too. Now I prefer to stick with the AppFuse versioning um, and not try and upgrade it. I've done it before and you know you probably don't want to do it unless you really really have to. Um, in the previous version of AppFuse I had to because um, you needed to be at struts 218 before any of this even worked at all. So um, I did the first upgrade manually, but they've AppFuse guys have since then upgraded to 218, which is what you're going to get when you do the initial project. The other thing is there's a lot of people using AppFuse in production environments, and um, stability in a production environment is certainly more important than using the bleeding edge. Now, if you're just learning this stuff and you want to start out with the latest and greatest, you know, feel free. But I'm pretty much sticking with the safe way here. Okay, so now what I did was I downloaded these jar files and I put them in my um, Eclipse app. So I, again, I just created another um, folder on my Windows box and added these libraries and then I add them to this project okay so um, so basically I just wanted to cover the the components here we're using and um, give you an idea of what packages we're using and here here's the documentation um, again the, the plugin is using jQuery so and most of the most of what we're going to be using here is actually the JQ grid plugin so you can find the J2 Grid plugin um, documentation here, and then um, you know I tend to keep that handy because that's what we're going to be using mostly to deal with some of the things we're doing. Um, the reason why we're using the plugin is because it's it's a JSP tag live pretty much, and you can get a lot of functionality out of the box just by using the tags. But in order to do some customization, you're still going to need to write some JavaScript. But fortunately, not as much as you would have to write if you were just doing straight jQuery and, and coding it all yourself. So you're going to basically sprinkle things in as you need them. Like, for example, you might want to customize the editing forms. You might want to um, add your own validation um, and messages. You might want to pre-populate your um, model bean. Um, so we'll, we'll see how all that works when we actually get into demoing the code and how it's all put together. But these are the pieces you're going to need at first. So um, if you go, again, the AppView site will um, guide you through um, putting together your um, starter app. And of course, um, there's the, um, there's always uh, the, um, let's see, uh, well, you can go back here and there's always the user mailing list and you can subscribe to the mailing list. I think there's a forum now where you can look at some old postings. It makes it a little easier to do that. And um, the guys on the forums have been very helpful. Matt's also seems to be, he, I don't think he ever gets any sleep. So, um, and like I said, this, this project has been around a long time. So, um, give it a try. Talk to you later in part two.